Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's here, it's on all devices now, the new interface for the Amazon Fire Stick. If you don't already see it on your Fire Stick, you will very, very soon. I just now got it on my final 4K Fire Stick. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a few things about the new interface that you need to know. So differences between the older interface and the new interface. In addition to that, I'm gonna share with you how to set it up properly to take full advantage of it. And then at the end, I'm also gonna share with you hidden settings, settings about this that you're gonna definitely want to change. I'll share that with you as well. And then I have a big surprise, big announcement at the very end of the video you won't wanna miss. So I'm gonna do all that on this video right now. All right, so the new interface, it is brand new. They just rolled it out on the 4K Fire Sticks, Fire TVs and Fire Cubes. And again, if you don't have it already, don't worry about it. I finally got it on my final Fire Stick, my 4K Fire Stick today. It had already rolled out on my other ones previous weeks, but it just finally hit this particular Fire Stick. Now, my understanding from Amazon is they're rolling it out by production date. So if you maybe have one that wasn't in that range that they're already launching to, it will get there. You will be forced to do it. Everybody's gonna have it. You're gonna want it. I've actually played with it quite a bit before I did this video, and I'll tell you what, I really do like it. And so in today's video, I'm really gonna talk about differences between this and the older interface. I'm also gonna share a few things on how to set it up properly because there's some things you're gonna wanna do just to make it a little bit easier to maneuver around. And then I'm also gonna do, like I said in the intro, hidden settings. So there's some settings on here that you're going to want to change. This particular interface, the way they have it set up, they do a lot of advertising. So there's a lot of pop-ups, there's a lot of videos playing, a lot of things that are taking up resources. They're gathering information to sell you stuff. So there's some settings I'm going to share with you towards the end of the video that you're definitely going to want to stick around for because it's a quick setting and it will save you a lot of time, resources, and it's just a lot better, smoother of an interface. So let's get right to it. Differences. So if you go to the top here, you're going to see that this bar here is no longer at the top and things are called a little bit different so first thing I'm going to talk about is one big change and that is the profile so if you click over to the left to the little picture there you can set an actual picture if you want to do that but that's not that big of a deal you can rename it how you want but then the cool thing about it is you can actually add profiles so if you want if you have a child and you want them only access to specific stuff that's where something like this comes in handy plus Amazon has a tendency to send you recommended content based on what you watch, which is a pretty cool feature. A lot of people really like that. And so with that, you want another person in your family to have their own profile so that you're not recommended a cooking show if you are into um, mechanics. So uh, all you would do is just go over your profile that you've set up, go into settings, and this is where you can set your different settings so you can sync specific Amazon content. Uh, and parental controls really is the big one right there. And the file sharing, if you wanna be able to share data between profiles. So it's all gonna be right here. So this is just the profile section. That's something that they added. So that is a difference. All right, another thing is um, if you go over to the home right here, this has not changed. I know a lot of you are gonna say, I can't find things. It's pretty much exactly the same. The categories are the same. So there's not a lot of change on the home button right there but if you go to find this is where it's different so before you went to the search in the upper left hand corner to find things well now you can search right here go to find and then search or you can go specifically by say movie apps or free or sports kids family things like that so your search is actually right here so when i say in a video go search for like one of my older videos search at the top left hand corner for blah 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 you're actually going to go to find and then search to find that hopefully that helps you out a little bit now this is something that's really cool that they added and I don't know if they've added this to other countries so if you are in the UK or Australia or uh, Japan and you don't have this I apologize I don't know I'm not there but one thing in the United States that they added for sure is the live tab now this is pretty cool so this is going to be all your live apps in one location so you're going to be able to see featured live apps breaking news on some of the big networks for news, which is really cool. And these are all live. They say live on them, so they are not playbacks. They are live news channels. But one thing they added that I think is really cool is actual live TV. If you go here to the guide, it's right here, guide. Click on that and you're gonna see live TV 
tons and tons of channels that are included completely free, no subscription needed, regular TV. It's built into the new interface, fantastic. So I just wanted to share that with you. That is a big difference. So you've got the profiles, pretty much the same, called something different, completely different live tab that added the full TV. So it's really cool that they have that. Now, setup, let's talk about setup. So setup is a little bit different because you're gonna want this to be your most used apps. Otherwise you can't find the apps. How do you find your apps? You go over here to that and then you scroll through and you gotta find your apps. It takes a while to load. It is slower than the older interface, but it takes a while and then you gotta find your apps. So you're going through your apps, blah, blah, blah. What you have to do, easy to do, is just set this. So to set this, all you need to do, let's just say that I use YouTube all the time and I want that, but I don't use Aptoid very often, only when I'm downloading an app. So what you do is you hit the three dash lines on the remote right here. They call it the hamburger button. Just click that one time and then click move with the center button. Now just move it right up where you want it at the top and there you go. Now same with this, you're gonna move that down because you don't want that. So move, move it down. Now you've got it there. So now my most frequently used videos, my Sterling TV, Cinema HD, YouTube, Discovery Plus, Netflix, and of course, Express VPN are my most common use. So if you go back to your home screen, now that is what you see. So you have like hot buttons, short buttons, shortcut buttons. You can just go right to it and you can open it right up. Another concern that a lot of people had was icons not showing. As you can see, third party app, third party app, icons are showing. So there is no difference in the icon. The icon showing had not to do with the new interface. It had to do with your operating system on your Fire device. Certain operating systems for some reason didn't work. I do have a fixed video for that though. So if you're still getting those gray icons on your third-party apps, watch that video on my channel. Quick, easy fix. All right. So now settings. Settings is also another thing that is a little bit different. So instead of going to the top over to settings, it's that gear icon right there. And it's the same from that point on. So you've got your account profile, network sounds, applications, preferences. Let's see if any changes happened. Let's say for example, um, I have unknown sources on. So let's see if there's any difference. Go to My Fire TV, developer options. Guess what? No change, it did not change your settings. So that's great. We can still download third-party apps. We can still enjoy everything that we could before on our Fire Stick. So no problem at all. Hidden settings. Hidden settings is a huge deal with this. The reason why, if you go to your home screen, you're gonna notice that there's these ads up here and they're big. It's half the screen. If you move up, it plays a video. Guess what guys, that takes up your resources. So we want to get rid of that. Interest-based ads is another one because you're going to add the more things that you watch, the more that you do on this new interface, they're going to start recommending ads to populate on your device and even send you emails on products they think you're going to like. It's annoying. I don't like it. You might. I don't. So I'm going to show you how to change all of that. So let's go into settings. So the settings again is over here in the gear located right there. Now there's two sections you really need to pay attention to, but really one, and that is your preferences. So we're gonna do that first because that's by far the most important. If you go to preferences and then you go to privacy settings, this is where you're gonna wanna turn all these off. I mean, we don't need them, no, yet turn it off. We don't need them to collect all of our data. We don't need, turn that off, app usage, interest-based ads, again, turn that off. So you've got all those off. You don't need those on unless you love ads. If you're an ad lover, Keep it on, no problem. I don't like it. Featured content is the other big setting that I like to make sure that everybody changes. And that's only because, and you might like it, but I don't like my resources being taken all the time. Stuff running in the background, videos playing when you don't even realize it. Like again, when I push to the top of the video started playing, that is data and that slows down your network and also uses your resources, especially if you don't have an unlimited data plan. So click on featured and go ahead and turn those both off, both audio and visuals. Definitely video, but you don't wanna hear it either. So you, if you want the video, but you don't wanna hear it, you could, just, you could just turn off audio, that's up to you. But I always turn mine off, it just makes it a little bit easier. So those are the big ones in the preferences section. 
And again, all the settings really are in the preferences. That's really what you need to change. You don't really need to do much else on your Fire Stick other than, of course, your My Fire TV so that you can enable third-party apps that I've talked about in some of my other videos. Hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit about the new interface. Now, so now the big announcement I was gonna make, Amazon Fire Sticks were on sale. I don't know if they still are by the time you watch this video, but they dropped the price of the 4K Fire Stick in anticipation of this new launch here. So I was able to pick up a few of them for giveaways. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of giveaways. And if you haven't seen my giveaways in the past, I only keep them on my channel for a short period of time, usually 24 hours. So make sure you have your notifications turned on. If you go down below the video, there's a little bell right next to this subscribe. If you click that, you then have to go up and click all. If you don't do that, you may not be notified of my drawings and I give away stuff all the time. Well, I'm going to be giving away 4K Fire Stick. In fact, I'm going to give away two 4K Fire Sticks on this video for every thousand likes we get. So if you go down below the video next to subscribe and hit that thumbs up, that thumbs up will let me know that you are interested in entering the drawing. Also, make sure you comment something down below, a question you have about the new interface or what you like about the new interface compared to the old one. Just let me know your opinion, good, bad, doesn't matter, you're entered into the drawing. I'm gonna be doing that drawing as soon as this video gets a thousand likes. I really wanna give this 4K Fire Stick away by the end of the month, so make sure you do do that. I really appreciate that. Again, this is for the 4K Fire Stick. All right, I really hope this helped you out a little bit. You can see some of the differences between this and the old interface, how to set it up, and then how to do those hidden settings. And don't forget, of course, comment down below, hit that thumbs up, and make sure your notifications are turned on when we do do the drawing. Thanks again, everybody, for watching my video. I really hope you appreciate it. Maybe you learned something today, maybe you didn't, but hopefully you enjoyed the video regardless. Thanks again, everybody. Bye. I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 